changing the subject. So the subject is the pronumeral in the formula that's by itself. And we can rearrange different formula to make other variables the subject. Let's have a look at one. y equals 2 outside of x minus 1. So currently, y is the subject because it's the pronumeral on its own. But we can always rearrange an equation to make another variable the subject. So let's go ahead and make x the subject in this one, which means we need to get x by itself. So let's divide both sides by 2. So those 2's cancel out. So we're left with y over 2 equals, we're just left with x minus 1. Then we can go ahead and plus 1 to both sides, because minus 1 plus 1 is gone. We're going to be left with just x on one side, and y over 2 plus 1 is just y over 2 plus 1. And now our formula that was y equals 2 outside of x minus 1 is x equals y over 2 plus 1, and now x is the subject. Let's have a look at another one y equals x squared. So currently y is the subject, and let's make x the subject. So we want to get rid of that square, so we'll square root both sides, so the square and the square root cancel out, so we're just going to be left with, we're left with x equals the square root of y, but whenever we have a pronumeral that's squared, and we square root it, we have to introduce a plus or minus on the other side. So we actually get x equals plus or minus root y. What about t equals r cubed plus 3? So currently t is the subject, because that's the pronumeral that's by itself. And let's go ahead and make r the subject. So we're going to minus 3 to both sides. 3 minus 3 is 0. So we get, just going to switch the sides around. So we get r cubed equals t minus 3, and now to make r by itself, we're going to have to cube root both sides, because that's the opposite of cubing something. So the cube and the cube root cancel out, so we're left with r equals the cube root of t minus 3. So for cube roots, or well for odd powers, we don't have to introduce a plus or minus, only for even powers like squared or power of 4. So we get one more. E equals a half mv squared. So let's go ahead and make, we could make m the subject or we could make the subject v, but we're going to go ahead and make v the subject. So the best first step we're here is to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the half. So the half and the 2 make 1. So we've got 2e equals mv squared. We're trying to make v the subject, so that's what we want to get by itself. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by m, because it's m times v squared. Opposite of timesing by m is dividing by m. So we're just left with v squared equals 2e over m. And now we can square root both sides to cancel out with that squared. And we square rooted a pronumeral that was squared, so we have to introduce a plus or minus. So we get plus or minus square root of 2e over M.